So first yeah. off, Alan asks, uh, what gauge wire do you recommend for an N-fed half-wave setup portable? I use 16 gauge with a fiberglass mast and the mast uh, bent a bit. Um, I know I've some, for some of the portable antennas I've built, I've been using uh, 14 gauge THHN, which is stranded wire, which you can buy at the uh, home improvement store. Yep. And that will certainly bend your mast, uh, yep. no doubt about it. Yep. And I know, uh, Dave, you know, if, if you've got a better wire <laughs> recommendation than 16, I mean, you could yeah, probably yeah. go there's, up to 20. There's two factors that will answer that question. One is how much power are you gonna put into that piece of wire? And the other is how much weight will your mast support? Because if the wire is too heavy and the mast breaks, then you know you, you're going nowhere. And if you're trying to push a kilowatt, which mo you know very few portable activators are running high power, but if you're running mm -hmm. a kilowatt and you need a larger gauge wire, now uh, I typically run 20, 20 watts with my G90 and maybe 50 watts with my 891. And I I get away with 18 gauge wire, no problem. And, oh, yeah. uh, and even 20 gauge, but with the NFED half wave, the span can get pretty long from, depending on what way you're running it, but these, uh, if it's a sloper for mm -hmm. 40 meters and you got 65 or 67 feet of wire suspended between two points, uh, you know, lighter is better. So uh, I, I think 18 gauge, 20 gauge is, is appropriate for most of our POTA activations. I think 20 gauge is probably a good compromise. I know, uh, you know, Chameleon sells that end fed half wave and they're using a 20 gauge wire and that feels very thin and lightweight to me. Yep. Uh, as a follow up, Alan, uh, he wrote also is, do you have any recommendations on where to buy 22 gauge wire? Um, Boy, that's a good question. I think you can find it online, Amazon probably. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know if there's any specialty wire. Uh, there's a there's a website uh, like Wireman, isn't there? Like the Wireman.com or something. Yeah. I know I bought uh, I bought real light gauge copper. He specializes in antenna wire actually, and I know I bought I bought several spools of uh, copper from him. Uh, the wireman.com. Oh, yeah, there's and, copper clad steel on right at there. Yeah, it's, they got it says 18 gauge. Yeah, that is stiff stuff. I wouldn't use that for portable at all. Uh, no, but it's really, really it's really good for uh permanent uh, mm -hmm. long spans because the steel gives it the strength and less likely to stretch, but yeah, not for portable. He's got an 14, and I saw an 18 gauge, I think 18 gauge might be his, he, he also had a 26 gauge, I don't know, 26 gauge might be a little uh, uh, thin for, you know, if you're going going high power, but. Oh, for um, high power, yeah, no, 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 that's, yeah. that's not going to cut it. 100 watts, you know, 100 watts, I would I would stay below, you know, 22 gauge and below. Um but then any anything else should work. But yeah, check out the wire man. I know I've seen some small rolls of wire on like Amazon, so that might be an option too. Uh, so hopefully, I've I've bought stuff from the wire man. He's a it's a it's a pretty good uh, pretty yeah. good deal there. It's a real so, good. Yep, yeah. the service is great. Mm -hmm. They ship fast. It's real good. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.